呃，当部队参谋了，说话得了修有了，得了，初中当部队当修把的，啊，当个组长真踏实吧，养那年个吧，总不不，等真专注了个来着，啊，他忙不几个下午有嘞，啊，等真专注了个真的。真心能落个年个巴当，让真他他做巴达，从嘛个下个月那样大件的呢？我都记得，我都吞吞起几块银币呢。啊，他空银币，他但我是真心的能落你彩龙兄弟，啊，彩龙兄弟，但多了彩龙兄弟你落不得着，啊你，但没事个大只，啊，你懂，你懂。这个、多了开了呢，空了但空了的。The outlook picado award lay that the tamat rayor, the shargat rayor. An kong ka tanda tanda parto sum sum zaga yung kasiyut tonyore niyang tang tatendi. Kasih cipta ni, ni yang kita tu, ni ni yang kita tu ni macam siapa yang bayar, tapi mampu juga cinta kau ni. Tampu, sungguh tampu dia kerana na crossing the border lah, tak dek. Tapi ni yang kita show dia tampu tu ni ada, tapi dia lah tu, dia kura tang, kura tang, tapi ni jenggo lah tu. My kind of exile lah itu. Oh, dan desu tenda rembat ini, sungsun tenda yang kasih di tuhyur. Tapi bandar tangi dini cuma mampu jika moga tuh ni, kongga tenda ketam si de, ah, kongsi naro cisu ayam tu cici sama. Hello. Desle, um. Tengah tengah tu kerja siapa dia? Yang mana mampu jadi dua orang? Tengah tengah tu kerja ni sih dia mampu di mana tu? Pagi tu dia je, tu dia je tengah siapa? Siapa yang umum? Hello. Tengah tengah sama lihat sama tu siapa tu? Tengah tengah tu lembut dia. Kau tu baru saja ni, kan? Tengah tu siapa kau tu? Tengah tu Tujuh enam tu je semua je. Kering dia lihat sabun di negara lihat tanda jujur nama ni nans. Kita orang ni uzur gap je jual tangan tu. Jujur ni nang beti tujuh jin nasu. Tanda tujuh jin nasu. Tujuh ni pada lihat orang tu lada rangi tu ane sumri cia ke orang tu dah jenjik suai. Tapi ni gua jap lihat orang tu sumri cia rangi. Jadi, sebagai kedai tujuh di Nalia, jenjut bumi ini nala TV itu cumi ke gulam tan, an diye, tapjo Nalia, tuve ramuan tapjo Nalia, ane kadu juga, sen su tu, nen su jung tu, yana diye suge, jungi me diye, eh jungi me diye, an tujuh sebagai tujuh di Nalia, ngara ngan esam tu, kah mama cik saya tu je, an di nyam do tuve tulen cia je, cia san tujuh sebagai tujuh di Nalia. Jadi ni jauh, jinak so. Eh, nunggu jap dia ngaco tanda, cumi inji nang cumi tanda kena ngaco kasus tiga ye meh dah, kasus tiga ye meh ngasih meh dah. Ine eh inji nang cumi tiga ye na, ngaco lada nang liya. Ani cik nung jawab cik tanda, yaga cik tiga liya. Tapi sih dini 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 yore sih cik, ngasih cik. Eh, ngurus sih ye na, cik tan mang cik tanda kewar inji kewar kaya inji insir itu aliya. Eh, cik tan dini cik. Di kebar di ke cungsi tang tu juga, kebar di ke cungsi tang tu di ke double layer tu juga. Alah, dia tu, oh, oh, dah di tata tu, tu je na. Hmm, 
ปากิดจิงยอกาจูเพนจมุยอเรสลาเวตาอิสโตรปลาเวตาอันนี้ติมังบูชูจิกเซยอดินเดดินเดจิงจังกาจูเกนดาร์ดังเลยโยชิกจ
Tadi ngarang tu pebek, kiu kala sebek je leh sih. Dia dah lihat tu. Kan je dia dah lihat tu leh senggol susu lep dia tu. Kan orang orang mana go tu tu ni tharan sebek sih besong sa. Tapi cikgu leh ada kala mangsi tangmo syar tu ni kencar tu. An dia dah lihat sebi na. An cik se, an ni tu tu cik kong cik, an ni acar tu cik. Lain cik sayu na kau tu susu cik tu cik ni nalia. Kan orang tu cik ngarang tu kala la no dini jilzi dia tu cik. Dini dia cah tu cik. Anda pilih jisoh nak cipta ini kalau mang cici de dalih ceh dojro, tamu sih na, an gonda gonda cici tu baris tunggu ini mandu. Tapi momo cumen sini di momo ini na kudas ta, ane sagan zikbo ane micu dini cici sayar mandu pilih jingi kalau zaman ini maru wa, maru wa. Tapi insa dalam sal na dalam sal na lo ya kumu cuci lo ya momo sum sum sayar. Di ceh momo. Kita anda sih gimana mak kan sih. Urusan ini, urusan siapa ni yang beli ube? Urusan siapa? Cik tu, ni, oh, tu kau tu tiang asyik ni. Urusan siapa ni? Mandra shoes ni, jackfruit ni, momo ni, jackfruit siapa ni? Siapa ni? Siapa ni? Kalau orang pergi dengan siapa ni? Jackfruit tu, siapa ni? Barza cepu jek jek nanglo liya, ngamu shoes ni dengan siapa ni? Siapa ni? Dia ni momo ni, siapa ni? Shoes tu, ngah segi cium. Urusan lingkup ini susah lah tu kontrol. Baik heh orang je. Di sana di bagaikan misi kita jantan je ruah. Kalau ni sudah ni tuan ni, jadi tuah. Tapi di sana dalam sana lalu ni, ani semai ni momo ni ani capture show di sini. Spinach cheese momo. Tadi sugun pebe kalau dua orang tewi ni tapi betul kahre lah ni kes dia ni. Kamu ni tahu dua ni ni. Jadi tuan di sini di sini jual cincin dia. Jua suk cium buji cium ba, ngarang jua ha mago ya cik. Ngarang jua jaja tatang cik. Ning jemu dua lai dek cecis sendan jua ruah, suk cik jua cium dek ta. Pepe cizo nanglo liya, pena damsa cium ba ina, tapi ngosu tuh buji cik tuane jaja tuane kar tunggu tu sana. Pepe pu gajah cik ta ini cik sing sing do jua ba ina, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, do buji Mando sama ini nampat ini cik thang, ruah. Tapi thande Kena tu, tapi warna sih nanglo liat cik sengsu tau, cium mana cing ini setiap malam, wah. Ini inggil eh, tengi ya aku sih rahau muda. Ini cinta angin nampak jero hati, tumbuh dua show jero, tapi puin eh, pomo ini. Dalam selalu tu, dili ini pun nanti cium mana sungai tu ka. Jadi kita ni karir lah ya, ning jumur zikre, karir lah zipu zikre lah cik. Kadu tu jadi dinda kalau ya sama tang yang mana sih me? Yang bayi neta kadu sembena liya kerja cukup 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 yang layer sana. Jaga longnye tewe kengi ngarang tu jeje jeje. Ani tatsu yang bayi ni suju gua cinder. Ani lakpa tu kadu sangju tewe ina jaga longnye nang liya ani. Nengmi nengku jam dek ya, tang truk pak ya, truk sing ya jero. Di kisah, kalang kerja macam shoot deh. Di mahu je kiung kisah, bahu ti lejo, dia korang ke kerjeng tu. Cik nengmi nang tadang cik dah, shoot je gua cint deh. Lagipun tu, tak di nang liya sih cokoy nama na, sex kikol le, tapi na tadang shoot je gua cint deh. Pebe, jizo nang lo di bina sex singe di sorbo cik dah. Dukja cik cik mana? Mua cawu cik ten cik re. Ini dukja cik dah, yang na mua cawu kelak re. Zorbo cik, cik dah bebe cik zor nalu ya cik suci o mana? Ini longnye di dah, ane jaga ki sudu nuntin ki ane nyentin dinde ki gune bebe cik zor nalu alia seks la na zorbo imba cik dah, ane ah dukja imba cik cik a cik kalang kacam bebe cik zor nalu sen shu yore sam dek. Jadi, ngaco tenju jizo nanglo le. Jadi, ngaco peba peba cengah tapju tan cik rishun cengce tan mangbu cik labi orang. Jua cik cuma shu cik cinti orang. Tapi dia, ngaco tan dah mutu shu gitu. Peba labi kali ya tenju peba cik u main ba. Hima le gigi gangsa le ya. Hima le gigi hima ini cik tu mungkin ngaco ngaco tuju ne si ne. Ani tak jagi ne tan le ya. Pape ani jua dogi dogi cinti orang. Kewa cik hari orang sana. Hima le gigi nang yume. Mereka ini bayi na, tak jaga misi cah daya orang. Di mana tu cik si Shamba, cuita rikshung, ane susu misi na dua 
giunto dodan giro halam dau dau chader dine tang ngare thand jushi nalia ani juze thang an chumri nalia ta juwa khaj sin dere a lu chonga ji ji ngo le ya ngo ma nga la dalia logic gigen cha chi inji inji chumri gigen cha chi didu la da nalia la te nala urdu labudu phui labge mindu phui da tharung ge je shi urdu labudu urdu labe de kharu dusna la da di jammu kashmir ki ngadi gi chapo yin bason za jammu kashmir ki ngadi gi nalia ani ki zo di urdu ruwa di ma sunza la da na urdu labudu nya ja nga lahol da piti kuli ya doe chu piti kuli ya tinza ini hindi labudu phui labe pe komporesha phui lam ye halam lapta ching ni jmando yo marsa thanda ine ta dil adu mirap ni sum shul ya ani boti lagi ne re phui lagi ne re di ani yumi di gi ke mutu je ne gi rewe phechin kha kore pecha sana nya janga thanda pidil khun ch khud pidil khul chim ba sonza Saja Saja Ming Ju Shujik Yikim Lashto Yikim Sembaki Bu Yubegi Lumbachi Satobo Shujik Digi Yugoton Jumbe Tig de Lee Yikim Sremedu Hikim Tig H I K K I M Hikim Hikim Zeno Tunda Quayo Yomarwa Hindi Nale Quayo Mare Pugan Nale Quayo Mare Hine Hikim Sacha Chasha And you meet in the He came to get, he came to get, let with the mother, he came to get, let with the mirror gambling. The mirror gamble case in a share do, mirror shumbalia, he came lana, carilla gure, deep union, candesti or lana, sing me do. Dilla do, mirror chick shulia, halam, he came get tonda or cosama. Such a shambachi. K O M I C len, comic tisha. Hindi nalaka, oke matra, ma e k. Comic. The comics love to do in general, yeah, C O M I C comic. You are the man to some sound. Did the insig or marrow that didn't they read humble and it made on pigeon shit? She don't to get it said in Delia, such a jiggy mingle. Yeah, C O M I C the tundas quack or your marrow and it made up gamba talk a shell kiss to you and the comic marries to get now. Lolia, go make like your is chug work in me. And it's a tombo dinema, tomba nunchi, the tona din de joris, chesa, saje menglia, gumigris, in a comic chach. Chesa, ta, you go to Jumbe, er, Yumigi, gay pa juatangye, Yana Hindi gaygi, Yumigi gay la pa juatangye. The din yanga detend la Himalay Ganzan al yori. La Manguji juatang yori. Gomba Manguji Ming Dindish in Jua Tepe. Peja Tangata Arunazil Kulia thinks Abushirak dry mojo, then the Puginalo Dindish, you read something. Tangazu literature's labecablia. Tangazu Tringi, Shego with Junse, Zoji near Karachal Sina. Tanapadu, Peba in Eri, Himalay, Giju in Eri, Naranzu Nezu, Naranzu Lugu, Naranzangi, Majibe Kengi. Mishembe Tibe Kingi and Susu Lugu, Susu Neta in a Rangshing Dua Te Dua Tepe Maze, Su Shugen Tepe Dindiji Pen Ladalan, Dindijore, Labejigi, the Deshe Jorwa, the Chi Migiti, Lada Rangi Mi Madiba Sonza, Chi Migiti, T. T. Chijo Long of Jujigi, Tibe Nedu, the Suranja Leche, and Susu Yumigi Samo in Dua Te Dej. Chosin Tana. The Judeta Tumriki Deva Yore, the Chosha Majana, the Chapsi in Nedan Susu Miki Samlo D, Shembe, Susu Kolea, Long of Juk, Ring Tibe, Kengi, Susu Samlo Jotet Pechas and a Pubas Labdu, that things are Hardzigore, Pubagi Hardzigore, Nanzo Shi Jambo, Sem Sangbo, Yapo, and it a Chamningje, and it Seva Pongba, Shu Yapo Ziet Chadir. Naranju Tai in some good. 
Dinde meba nanglo le ti jam ni khazu yu. Monchu ti le ne jara tsumo bo ni nyam paral ya jam ni sho ji ti jam ji se sha. Ine pheba ka hangsa o mar da. Ja ka kan sa hangsa ar da. Pheba hangsa o mar e. Kharchi ti nungyu ni yong de ko pheba chi so nang re. Re mar e. Re mar e. Che sa monchu sum lo dikas juwa tin chin de do. Kharchi juwa tin re chi lo ne pheba la ne nyam chu bo ye pa yap nga o ji. ฉันนี่ชิ่งนั่นบ่รู้จิกซื้อนี่ชิ่งนั่นบ่รู้จิกซื้อนี่ชิ่งดิกซื้อจุ๊ดทิ้งเดี๋ยวว่ะจิกข
Nyanga Tibe Kablia, Tangu Koran Rani, Kerla Gorsen, and also Tonju Madanga, Lajik. Nanzu Jobu Risha, Nanzulia, and it's our never Risha's Malabs. Hm? Do not tell us you're rootless. Tajik, Mirab Gimbegi, Shumbal Katuina, Chikansa, the Shingo, Mare, Lugu Shingo, Mare, Tawa, Lugumma, the Shingo, Marla de Ejikiro. Think of Malabas. Nanzu Naranzu carry you with the Taran Salon Jeju Dalabe, Dirda. Tambu Koran Zuberta. Engine alone is deep a couple. That did so about the Chungan carrier sina Inchi key tongue and it sugu pebe key pargi. Chosen that key nigi parley at Zuba took but nang shinji red wa, so the carasana, some lunin parley, Kevachin there. Key candidic jang by ne, key di jungungi, rixum, digi some logi shen sugar. Timusonza than Nidon Gulia, than the Pu Pajan Chapjakul Mare, than the any Gayigi, Lok de Mangujigi, any Pubel Labden and Lok de Nachuche, and Pul Koramevo Soegi, Bedunji Chunsma. Tell her, digging Yanga the Carisana, Gay Kandiji Lab Yune, Gay Digi Samlo, Digi Jabjong D, Susu Semben and Shuche, Halam me, Yuachim and Shinji, Yungir. Jadi, di game ta ke tunjuk tangbo ni ni, ane ke short je, dinding labu ber nezu dinding cik cap. Ke tunjuk ta ane gebut sini konsum mika sih cik, tangbo thoma ane tenju cizo naulol ya. Marshu sokat suwe di, kurang su gosur. Marshu sokat su suwe di le, jauh rumah cik, jab jauh nombor. Pilihan gune marshu sokat cik, marshu sokat selave kabel ya cik kalau orang mila dunia seinge ane risu mewah seinge dinding maris. Chita Miku Yolia and Chinum Tanyum Chiche and it some two dinde marshogi, but the marshu tamara dinichi chunas cheche, Yarumuji Kunji Pevre, Kunan to make a shiji get so much soup. Make Jukshire Kumar, Loga Shishula, go jaw chungri. In a Tamutoman is dus chick, chunior. Ta didn't deva yubachik. Pechas in a dawa dawa nubu, pebe naneta, inginalia a tumri tinge. Pecah tangsho itu je. Tahu nurbu. Tahu mu tahu nurbu tak pet. Tanda tak kadu konsum kulit tak kita yor. Kurang labde kap ne lobjung labajun cedangi korla. Ini kewan dini cah je. Thama thama daram salan ne bas ki thogal ya. Ani tirpa duga. Tirpa tarpolin. Tirpa dini golo kuyun je. Ani daram salan thogu cung. Di. Inji TV King. Just at that thing of the Inji Sumri, Tio Son, call a Shaggy or Sonza, Chungim Chinalia, and Down Rubu Dinichi, Damsal and Togutun. Toge Tama Tama, and it Dilile and Juala Nidu University, Dinik Zulaka, Dinichi, and it Kema Lobdumba, Yonamana Shuchi, Pekaj Macharti, Pivages on Alon Povaji Rede, in a Naranzu meet Dinichi, Tabo Yama to a Chinje, Togutun. Harjin Joe Jones and Nenuka Mangu Jure in a Nedenka Chiglen Alia, Tibetan Review Lagic, Tikab Gita, Tapebe Chiso Nalia, Samlu Jugu, Samlu Nashe, and Shukin Shuk Cheshu Temne, Tibetan Review Sage, Dawa de Redelia, Tudip Jungur, that did things and things Dungur, that things are Shuchi Nubus Madding is cutting on Samata, Nima Nima, Taja, Chusu Chusule, Taja de Chenetu Samas Kudu Chigo Sons. Dikablia. Tak yang mana diri, di nang lekari tiar sana, our leadership is not dynamic enough tiar. Tanda kalau itu su sunam tu gila, tak logic ni ngol ya, dia dong pesan. Kuam dia dong mape ngol ya, ane ngaco dawu nubu ngol ya, kandis kandis itu kuam dia dini su, dia dia kuam tidak lagi kuam cale nangge ini sungguh tu, dia dia ngaco su. Kunda Sassons, JJ, Grand Rang Sons. Down Nurbugi, Nanzu Goti, and he sings to Tumba in the Remindus Lapshas. Our leadership is not dynamic enough. Grand Shuji Kunda Sassons, the Dindaji Lamna, the quite digger Samajik, and the Grandu 
Tidak lagi guna lagi kerja kono sayur. Tadi kerja di mana kerja je? Kanji nganju godi cuma mendus labi labi cikla ko. Eh di memang kerja na cung. Memang mangu cik tahun umur tunggal leh doa. Cetan tahun umur tanam salan dua ko cung doa. Cetan ngah tanda kerja kan lagi orang sana dindegi samlo di. Injil nalar ye show tu jam mari. Injil nalar, mana je na? Injil nalar ye tidak tan, digi samlo tan, tajo itu bina show tu jam mari. Ini tu bui bui nalar ye apa? Jur, ani jur bekap le ya? Yang na jur ban jur tan nawai marta. Perbe cipta nalar dini lapso iya marta. Cipta rikshung tan samlo gigi kebari mando sum jur le kangi cipta cawan ini mari. Nanti nampi mangsi lembut doa. Ah, dini cipta kalam ni yur lewe cik. Tanda di mana juga, jangan ubuk itu mungkin nak lihat, ane banyan tree, banyan tree nak kelabu rekan tu. Junsing, Junsing, Junsing di wall ya, ta, ane kesiye yo maris. Ta, jangan ubuk itu mungkin di mana lihat, labe kelabu orang sana, Junsing sini di ta, jauh mungkin bandang sini ta, di wall ya ta, cawan ini kaya yo maris. Cuci ni dah na, sijit sijit dah res sijit, tapi sijit sijit cuma res labur tak ngoci na, niaga cip na, niaga jawi na, tapi tiga cip ni niaga jauh macam ni ya, ni begini cuma tiga cip halam suka ni yuk mar dah. Ini desi semua sih kerja orang sana, di wall ya tak cawan ini kiri yuk mar labdu, di wall ya tak godi semua cip suka ni lebih yuk mar es, jauh macam ni jauh macam ni orang res sijit, di kita ni, yang jangan ni boleh nyota sijit cuma. Jadi, ini nampol tapi ni suci duga je dah cair kebun ni kemarai. Ini mana bukan nampol ya tu juri untuk yang jua jualan lekang ni marai. So kerana semua pergi kebun. Kini ni ki semua pergi kebun cene, ane kangen suci teater. Sasan siringi ane gua dam le ya ane kerana kongsu mimang bujik ane cuba ke doh ke je ane gua dak dak tang ane nampol kamo suli polis juk je ane bukan rokok cikar yang gua nejuj dini cungyor. Tak. Kau tu semua suci duga je dan dua dua je kerja sana, dinde marai, macam mana marai? Tapi semua kerja kalau jenis mana, semua pergi kerja cinti orang, kiri pergi kerja cinti orang. Jadi, kiri tunduk cah sana, tangguh ni ni, oh dinde labuk tu gua. Anjur dinde ya, do not conjure us, conjure up before us gruesome images of reality which cripple our hope, shatter our dreams. Anjur ki reba tan milam. Kerja calon maju mungkin ni, ane mabuk soal ni, dinde tapi sih macam ni cuci cuci je. Tapi mungkin ni, ane dinde je labuk tu. Tapi dinde, anjur tanda tu, jik sumri labuk kabel ya, sumri di inji jik inji sumri dia jik bu marah. Pernah dinsu tengen ane, suci kap jumbo tan, macam macam lu jual tan, buat dinde marah. Tapi pasal orang ni, anjur Jadi so nang lori ya, tengah tengah jumpa ni siapa nasi, pernah kiri kita ni, kala kita ni, thulo kita ni, asam lo tanda kita ni, jeje kita ni, jom aku show ojek cih. Wah, tak kena tu tanda peni yang ni mampu tu wah, peni yang ni cie, dropa inba kaji ni lapak cik yang dah, peni yang ni cie, dropa inba, peni yang ni cie, singba inba lapak cik yang dah. Wah, oh tu je na, ke mana tu? Tak wan cina, pelu yang ini dokpo cik tu simba cina susam tanda. Kesi kira jaga mayung baca pelu mutu cik deh ini tanda buku kasih yuk deh. Mata ngani cibe, ngani cibe, so simba tu dokpo ini tak kacau lubjong sedu cilok marawa. Lubjong semua tu kerja sana simba tu dokpo lekar rancit dang tu nampi la nampi la teh cie dini cawa jabgi yume tan nampi tanggu yume di Ki coba cetu biaya dia, lupa cuma suci lewa, nyam nyam itu nunggu lewa. Tapi sahaja jilid itu, nanti sahaja di, ane jadi kuki yang kita tu, kita kerjai itu tu, coba kerjai itu tu, nyam nyam kerjai itu tu dia, lupa cuma suci lewa. Misu kangen cemah tu biaya, coba pun yang mana mana jadi, dini cik cetu kau mari, dok bagi cewa nangsi. Jadi di kabel lupa cuma sini dia dewa korak kahar. Tak tanda juga suci pun suci kerja kerja yang urusan agama itu tak cik, bebe lakukan tu kiri nyata cipta macam kerja lebih ini, bui tanda tujuh la, cap cecah tang, bebe mangsa kisah di tujuh di tanda, 
Hui nyam yo mare nyam yo ta pa sha shu ji pe de ta sam dan da ji gong ji ngap ju ngao gu li ya ta kan ji gyaorun bu ji peul zen ju pe be gap li ya hui xing ka zai yo re chao ka xi xing ge yu gu re zen de ka sun gu ta mang ji xing ge wa cha sha hui lo go ro mean just a new year few sacred routines somehow i lost my losar somewhere along the path i lost it don't know where or when college in seaside city when it was still bombay sisters family on pilgrimage uncle in varanasi mother grazing cows in south india still need to report to dharamshala police couldn't get train tickets too risky to try waiting list and it's 3 days including return journey it's one week even if i go other siblings may not find the time adjusting timings it's been 20 years without a losar somewhere along the path i lost it don't know where or when losar is when the juveniles and bastards call home across the himalayas and cry into the wire losar is some plastic flowers and a momo party and then in 2008 when our people rode horses shouting freedom against rattling machine guns when they died like flies in the olympics spectacle we shaved our heads bald and threatened to die by fasting but failed somewhere along the path i lost it don't know where or when somewhere i lost my losar tadi yangya dire um lava dangye jik thong thuje na shye um tadi yangye dire da zenju music sonan do jire yabo stebe na ngan same gi jik ta susu nyongso chungjung chungjung nyamnyong chungjung chungji tab dina le le der pe cha sana ta ngaran zu losa lab du jik ta nangmi chama nyam do zom logic na le ya da chuk thuje tuje kheban che jik ro nangmi du je chama nyam do zom ki bu che ta ga bu che ane kya khawa le ga khat jik khawa je le jo din ke che tuje re te ta tenju mizo no kha thor che phama shi ja le su su ya le jik au wa shi pha chi ta din san dile mang kha thor au wa shi mang ji chi ge le le ro kha thor che ta ngan zo lo sa ta ngai se min du gua ani ta thalo jik yung ge na sam ne jik jik yung ma tu a je ma jik yung ge na sin ka che lo chi go lu ni go nga ji da dir da lo ni shu chin du da lo sa nyam du ta ngai ma jung nyang an di tv ka lu nang mi sa nyam du zom che lo sa ta ngai ma jung lo ni shu chin shi anti na ya che ga shi jo re pes na waiting list mo chin inji na lo le waiting list la di nor re waiting list la mo re wait listed le re ma jung ki ticket waiting list le gi yo ngat nang me jlab de ko ra engine na liya waiting list waiting list nga waiting list le sha nga ta tik tik na confirm cha ng je lab go ro ta ki waiting list la no re mo sun khal lab go re wait listed la re wait listed nga jo guk to na jo sha la la go ro wa wait listed la re wait listed jis na di ra sha la ine nge de waiting list kharch ni na chidang gi phebe inji she be na le kha ju na la waiting list le gu yo sun sa nge di na le waiting list che che chu sha dinde jik sik jik dinde yore ta dinal ya mose dhubu jik tenju dinal dhuwa chimba jik khari yorsna pesna nge dinal di thedu kwa ngom ngazul labde na losa himba ina ta momo sae do ji yorta losa la na o dinde ki bu ta 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 do ji cheza dire losa nal yo mose dhubu jik yo khari chi yorsna ngoma losa la na phoba samai gi bad jere ro losa la den sine ta logic phar gi ro re mare ta thinsa kharcha re ne de chiti do it was gang gang dinalia sikje ni be gi chuktom le sikta da it was there when we all gained a year together before birthdays were cakes and candles to ngomai na losa la ngam somo logic phar gor ta thinsa ani birthday ta ki ka ani yang la pa yang la de phuji ge an di kala ya yang la gi khasa ki gangi the cream cow the dongbal jik chu ende jik chu chera chise yor de ani nyemba de de do chi ta di shu yo then chin do ga din de china ani theng du ba yin ba ta din de china an jik ta sa ho ru jik ta an ko jik ta samlo khuyang bo yin be gi jidan do jik cha do ga 
就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是你的地方,就是
Chesang Aranzu, Chick Tessic, some of Pusu taught her some good do, and Labo de Benet and the Daunuki TV, some di Chesnatanzu, Chungunzo did it, Daunuki TV, some di Tanda did it. Tibin review Nangi, and he, uh, some dribble tam chignali out in digitinary. And D came be, and Koram, Gramsal and Togo Chunkanje, Pepejizo non Tuba, which and D. Chesan Naranzu, Simbe Nalolia, Susan, Yung Tava. Rest some good month, some good do month or jiggy. Down with some tea, some tea, a diggy, and a yarn which you never chick. Rest some good me. Down with some tea, a yarn with you to the mount you drank him out, yarn with your mother negro. And Lapa don't answer now, Lolly, thanks to Jacaru Google Sena, Yarn with Jelia, Dindigi, Lamni, Nea, Mavachi, Naranzu, and Tempe, Denzu, Joris, Google some good person. Naran was in a thing to pay you. Can make a carimo, hurry lavine. Yarn with you, some gimme. The Yami Lamni, Nugimena, Naranzu Pibichis or Nanglone, and some Zu Mandaji, Shave Genki, Yarmus Nugu Yubachi, Chuksusu Samtambina, some of Pusu Tok Tire Samgu, Jesanga, some of Dinditangi, and Digi Kalen Lobata, Dinditchi Yimbachi, Zigime, Jesan Dit Chicino, Kumbayane, young Shimbachi, Shemeto, Ra Dinga Samzui, the Dit Suba Mogotone, Tiba Shimba Yubina. Tomade Tinsundilatan, Kalo <laughs> Yongwell <laughs> So, Nil and Gomer, the Dalla Chara Rosta Chador, Chesa Chiso di Tua Gomer, that you saw the Tua, somebody says about Chiso di Tua or Jordan to the Tanzu, Shungi, that di to the Western Labina, Dirdog, Tomobogi, criticism Tangshi Vache, Mimanzu, and criticism the Lenshin Bachina Consuda, Dirdua, Nanguda, take me say, Church of Chen, Pivichiso Nadamina, that criticism Tang Chan will as one criticism Tara, the criticism Tavana, Consuda. Mimangia, Lema Shimche, Andi Kimala, Tarnota Sama den Landunda. The Jesa Tang Kerang di Sumer di Sumurista. Nazu Zumba was singing in a criticism, criticism tear, that is all the Tuana, criticism, Tizum Balta, Dictadan Candidate or Meda. Mimang and criticism the Lendanger, the Candid Longo Meta or Lech Sumurus. On the Sashi Chichi, the Tanda, Chuatan in this Gangto to Gundurdu, Nala Kipo. Tendaji Tang Rochi, Sam Sutang, and the Mong Position, and then some of Korkoya and Ragamido, Tanda, Karma Kashi Samashilami to Twitch. Does it that you want now Nangachum Budni Nanson? Um, Tangbudi, um, Tenju Chiso Nanlia, Pu Labieta, Pube, Jukshun, Golia, Dejetia, and the Shirak Shuk chair, Injisumri, Changeta, Yedere, Labra Mangi. The Labri Labi Kedi, Injira Yimbekezerda Yimba in a Labia Tanangu, Mangchi, and Pui Puge, Pubejito, and Chisogran Tara never sonza, and the Sengsu Tombe, Injitumri, Tinaji, Nazu, the Raka Porgena, Tumundu, Slavina, Peja, Chicken, Reva Chetar, some good, Reva Chetar, some good. Dindeki Sengsu Tombe, Injitumri, Tinaji, Guyana. Dina Kuyu Taranj Gugore, Tanangu Kuyu Yomari, Kigi Kuyu Yomari. 
di kembe ngazu <hesitation> te shinje ji chaf re sam gudu, pe nang aran do cha shaf ina lop jum kara inji tsum ri chaya le ya pe te shu ji gi kale gap che, te ji chemba la manda we kale gap che, te inji te shi tu biya ji ta ani shi tu biya di ndi ji <hesitation> chaya di ye nga pe du kim te lap du kiu ma chini le kiu di ndi gi shu ji lop jum te ba ye ji ge kara la ure <hesitation> tu ngi ina re. Yana gap do ina shu che ra do bendir ke me tu ma rangi shu che ke kalle gap che ani tande te shi tu be lo lo tu be shi tu be dindi che cha de yu <hesitation> che sante kuyu ra ndi se be ngadur kuyu me yo ma re lo be yu chik te ina ya tsa wanyi ne me ba dindi ma re be shina ngad tande tande na tu zu chung ma sun ma ndu shimba sin wo mo tomba gi nyanga <hesitation> dina liya kina ndu nyam do chama yo di shu lo lo na nda sin wo mo tomba ta jain wu tingi tsi me na pe be inji na li ti be Som nane chik tse to shu ting ting, shu chik yak bori, tsirong wong mo tong bo chia china, <hesitation> pake tanda amrike ki tsulo lo mi kan ki tsum ri ki ki ding ring, amrike mi la inji pal la buyer, ki <hesitation> pa yun nan la ya ki be pebe shun ki chik ri, pake amrike nan la ya amrike tsulo lo mi kan la ya amrike mi la inji pal la buyer ting ting ri chik ri, chik tsan yung ai chung yor ri, ina long ap chun nan la ya an di ki tsi chung mo tus la ve na chik sen nan zo. <hesitation> tak ngarang tu tungge nja tang tang to tang ki to ni <hesitation> rewa shuk che ta re sam ki ju <hesitation> shemba chi tang tu tu shuk ka wari chi ni sana inji shuk ya bu yu ba kang shi la inji ki kul yu me be keng ki <hesitation> ngazu shenja ji chi ni re sam ki ju tak kia ti wadi le kap du le nja vina be na ngazu ti si vi cha cha vina inji la bi yata lu ti che cha tang inji na chi ki yu be ni. Jidang gi inji ke je shea ta tiya gi kuyu kuri yo mari, tsang ma pe ge rang, an la ba du <hesitation> jizo nang lo liya kyo yong liya sim ga ma kari yo sana, pe yu jang kuri nga du ri shun tsok yong nga za che wura lai gi sam lo di shuk shum shu che, jizo inji na shu shu ma diya ba kengi, ani <hesitation> tse da den be gi tsum ri tinge ma jung ba gi di cha der, di gi tong ne ta pe yu yang shu ji gi <hesitation> ya bu yu deng gi din de shu bu chung yo ma ri sam gi nga nga ri sam zu liya. Ni jau na lo dawo dawo jik tun tin de jik shung ngasam gi ta na ti wa nyi ma di kritisism ta che tsum ti be kab le ya jik ta tsum gi tone yin ne re ya jik na jik shung gi tone sam le <hesitation> sam le tan tan gi chap si do tan gi tone jik ta <hesitation> che tsum jik chi zo gi ko le ya che tsum tin ti se gi wa tin de na ti be kab le ya ta na tsu pe be jik zo le mik se gi kang ngai jik <hesitation> ngai re tong zu le kari mis na Chizo di tumbu shu chigu ngai teng jire, tsama dawu shu jik chigu ngai jik, di mu tsun tsun chung tui ne kar lab gure sina, di ma je a pagi ma je a de mando a di ma lab a ma ma lab mando ma ji kang gya re ma do jik pagi che shu di ta zu ta di sa wa yore di to wa yore ta ani bu nyo jik cham jam ti a pagi di singir ta di din dir ta di din dir ta cha gir ta tang gir ta. Digi nyam nyu sabu ma di bache mandu ma ta ma ji kang kia ri lab jana kari ri na kari nyam bu chia lab ri ta kari nyam bu chia kari nyam bu chia ri na susu ngun ri sam ta ngai yo ma ri wa chia ta zin pe be chizo nang lo ne ri wa a sartum sartu sam lo sabu ta ngai halam kong bu ri Kana chung tu ki lop so kurang dang le kari wusana chik bo chik wuri kari nyem bo chik wuri di ma chik ane labe kuri kari wusana tak ta de mo sunda labe kuri kari sar ta tak ta de mo sunda shung ki chik ki tibo kui ne <hesitation> ngan <hesitation> di ki wuri ma ta hako mo sunda yi ne kong bo go tuk tu no kong bo shui sar ta nor yun na ta ane di chik lap ro an juk tom juk tom kala wuri nor yun na gonda lan ro shui ta. Kanje susu sam tu shi ani di le ya tawa me wa shan do jar da nori no gonda lar da kanje nge mare lar da chi san chi zo di le ya chi ki sar tu yutan sam lo sawa yung pe kakuri kanong kuyo gur din di su shar da sam lo yawa dan da din di re dumi do chi san din di na le ya ta dan da de criticism la vina pe kakuri la ba du inji zum di na lo le ya chi <hesitation> chi shi yung di <hesitation> Chik ta pebe chizo na lo ni kuzi shesa chedong di ni mangji yo mare inji tong ri na lo li shebe na ta chik shedan li di be na shenge ta ani pa shesa di <hesitation> chik wa rang zi che kana inji tong ri 
Tiedi Shakespeare and Matibina are Chigum Kara Chigum Shibian and Matibina Locas Lesson. Dra Tanazu Pube to me di Chitong Gron and Chiso di Koinumbo Shuji Drodangi Tony. And Labo do Nangjus in the Masses Mgroa, Night Light Yomaroa, Masses Mgroa. She's not the day you do then. Nanjuki Shin Shukum Shushu, Begi, Pui, Tumri, Nalia, Devine, Nat, Jig, Inji Tumri, Twasle, you do, Pui, Tumri, Nalia, Knaz, Manguji, the Twash, Winigu, and Ashirai, Sorgimindu, Kana, Inji Tumri, Twajik, Nonsawa Sonza, Jiki, Chise Nanse, Mosu Tubo, and his symbol carry over the cup to Doctor Shegi, Samu, Mangi Mindu. Dim and Dim never must say, Karishi, you need to go to the car, 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 Divadi Tamenda. Can I long do the issue? And then Divadi Pena Tommy Pena Pele Kunda. The Tommy Zambota, the Sonsenga Moma Capsu and a Taber. The Manzo Begi, Bebe Gada in a da, and Bege Gada in a da, Bebe got a teacher going down a da, Be, Guachins are the Sada. Joachins are the Densan Suina, the Chiso Yagido, the Saba Saba, the Konakarsa, the Morden Do, the Chadura. And yet in the Dadens, the Gaganala, the Idi Barla Ragala, and the Garza, and the Anzo Bebeki, the Rikshu, and the Yam Dugina, and a Degam Jisung of Chetu Mirana, the Chiel Chie Degim Beba Dinzo in the Pectos Coverism with Ragala, and a the design of Suina that Chie Dredge or Tangma that been woman wounded at the Babot to the Mount Chiagana, that design Chiagana Chie and Mount Mangao to see another Chie like the same with the other Tangma. The Tangma Chie do Suina Chie can your dredge that Nedu Tadira de Garza Nido Peje Nido Geju Gubju de Tangma that Tangma Chie Chaza is something that they answer the Yagana, they gave Beva the Himalayan region, Paja Tongba Chimina, some of the door. And then Chie, that Chie, that that day, day, that day, they come Yiki, the Manzu Sunga Chimba, that Chie, the Chie, they did the bed, some of the Chie, some of the that they come Nidong, Giju Gubju, the other way, and so the Beve did the Tangma, the Tongba Dow Chat, some of the Chaza is some of the Rah. And it is an eight that. Jema Jema the Anne the Garsa Mazodi Beba Anne Bayi Chigala de Tangma Payu the Anne Yimaji uh Nido Gupju Dewa Nangazodi uh Beba uh Kid uh Garzo that Dichi Saba Ju so and that so would do some anning and so yeah key that uh the yeed in Yora the Saba that Saba so would do Dalanda. The end is Nalo Samsil the Oyora, and the Antomi Tomis of the Niba de Juna, Niba Junguri and Anga Samudura, Jama Mamba, and the Kilana de Gorti Sulu. Tinde is simply Chugo Ayana. Nani Chig under the Pugu Nanding is Samlo Jura. The Zamli Nalo Lia Chig Shin Shunga Cheshu Tang Jizigi. And in Yamia, the gadget sounding and kisi pheba chigel chimba ina pheba samlo de mutu je gumbe yonge chig mando chigi pajo ne tu shen shu je pheba che samlo di nyungu chimba do chig nge ta tongu me do pheba inji di chansa gave inji di pheba maja zi ji re ta hanje nga ta zu di khatu ina chig tinde ki sangjo ji tong de nge ji Yet, and Jinne, do a chimba laboring mando chicky, Yamgu chimba in a labgime. 
Juga cuma senyap di pecahnya na ini kei cahaya dah. Ini kei di zaman ini nanglo ni kei cukup cahaya itu tanda. Mungkin kei cukup mari. Ini kei di cukup kerjanya cahaya itu na ini kei di kacau nangsi kawa kasihnya cukup kaujun di de duk or dorod di de duk cunyok di de duk je. Pada ini kei cukup cahaya itu jenjeng kerjanya kawa kasihnya cukup 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 je. So, lain berkap la, ngah dua tiga ni sambil member cek, so ni dia dia ini susah. Pena pelbagai cik lama layat dan yang layat dan cukup layat dan dengan tu ini nak susah. Di ni pun sana, susu dua tiga ni sambil ni senang dengan dia macam ni na, ane susu dua cuma ini dua di sanggup di dua cik. Ngah dengar cerita dek juga. Pecah nang niat tanji share di. Tenju nang le ya ke gabe pege tanah niat pege gabe di cikgu di pege ke di cukur sura mandu pege ke di nyamku cimba marawa. Niat pege di gabe kengi ane amdo ngawai ki kendan di nyamku dry ker yo marawa. Amdo ngawai kendan di mudu je amdo ngawai kuil nang ya ke jangan di yore. Nah, bagi dia kerja begini, bagi kita sahaja sila berwa. Tangan tu tanda, jaga bayu na juga, bumi bumi kita tanda nyusus lebur. Jadi tanda bumi bumi kita tanda nyusus ki kerja di jabgi yuna. Anti kerja dia tak dengan kerja sana. Lagu khabar tanda tujuh ki kerja dia sahaja sila berjuang sama sama kerja di cukup cair sama kerja. Di nyamku cuma jing ngaji ki mana? Di kerja ini mana? Ani rujukan dah samlo ini bayi ni, anjo di pay tu pun dua mandu, anjo samlo di pa cook, ni sembel samlo tu lem bayi na, ani dende nyamgu cingi juga. Naya dende thambe dende thongwe le ya, pena waran nasi tulak lom ni kah dina cha cha bayi ni, kahsu cingi pebe cuy dah rujukan samlo bayi le kahsu cingi nuba yungu do, mesti kah kahsu cingi nuba yungu do. Nyamgu cingi ada ni cawu ni ni samlo koruk tenggi me, pebe cuy dah rujukan samlo tam bayi na, paya. Jatuh doya, ane cuk doya cik. Di ni cik tong degi. Ane penuh bah cik ye gegap nama ramu mampu cik ye cimba ini. Tadi cik ye di tanda doya di tanda doya doya cahdu. Di di le cik ye ngangsep show cik ye urus sambil mindu. Pebe cik ye cimba ini, pebe cuy tar rikshun show cik sah cumbu cik ye channel show cik nyade di ni yunggu tu. Ane di gune gegap nama ramu mampu cik nali ya pebe cuy tar rikshun desa gaya di ni yunggu tu. Nah, tanda dalam salah coba dengar juga. Tujuh dalam salah degi ina pebel longnya le ya gawu yo mari tagi kor mari. Katu ina nujo gil longnya dengan kian jeta dengar. Tapi pagi amri kali itu kuda kes tiga itu serba. Ani ngah pebel gi ani ni ngaku kor le ya longnya jeta nyus yogi itu of Tibet le jeta nyus kian thong nyus le tu ko mahdom thong ini thong tu aje. Tapi ko sim sim taya thong tu ani dengar debit jek dalam salah nu kurus orang lagi tu. Pata, ane cina koran teng tampu tahu cikgu ada, karena lengan jauh rupa ke. Dinde dinde cina teng tampu tak bebel, tep ta, ane longyen tece, ane lengan jauh gua dinde, karena jagar miser ni, cuit thar ni, bebel dongban ni, cuit thar ni yomarta. Jadi kalau cina ini kerja dia le, kahne imbal lagi le. Tapi susu tu glo, kudung cegar tu cikgu, cahsha tu cikgu, ini dia cik dugu yune. Doktor kes khati kira kahwa ini kahne imbalar eh kahne ini lalu tu beba ini lapik rawa beba ni tu ah kian tu gegap tu jemi wal yor walar susu dikpuru shiu cie yugur de susu gegap bagi jemi wal yobati zaman ni zaman ha guwar thar sayo marta tapi susu kesi gen zaman ni mahki ni gen jimba ini dinde cagu doa gen kau ni jina mutu je beba neju kolya desi gabi ada yon dek doa cina di kian kita dah kandi naha jora cina ni kian kita cik Sem sem sebab tu je, ingat itu. Naya dulu ya sem sebab cikgu Junsen cik tunggu mindo. An lagba do tu cik pebeco da rikshun samlo di mutu je gaji nali ya pay dengen tu cik. Tapi ane mampu cik gamu cik ya tu cik. Dengen dengen cik tuan dek tu. Lagba do pui dia sum sumri dengen cik bayi na cik tu nyuwa show yo dengen. Mau boleh kugup tu cik dulu mih bayi na show cik tasa yo dengen dengen cik tuan dek tu.
Tanda Yeah, um, settle down. So this whole session we're going to do in, in English, and um, I hope everybody will kind of respond in the same same language. Yeah. Um, people in the back, do you want to come come a little forward? We have a lot of space here, and also I'll be writing here, and I'm, I'm going to use that also. So I would want people to come closer, fill up all the spaces around here.
Okay. Um, so the goal of this class, this session, um, creative writing in English. You know, I cannot teach in creative writing in English just in one session. So what would, what I may be doing in the next one hour is familiarize some of the techniques of writing in English. You all, you've been writing in Tibetan. Uh, you've been educated. Some of you have studied here for eight, nine years. So. So this is only a way of kind of comparing with a different techniques of writing, different ways of thinking. Uh, what is English? How does it work? Um, s of course, you, we, we all have come across some kind of writing. Um, we have uh, heard people saying things uh, in English. So this will only help you if you're not serious writers. At least it will help you see how it's, it's, how it's done in English. What the metaphors, how do the examples being used there, um, and some of the techniques yeah, here. So I'm very quickly going to do um, this session uh, in one hour, and want to start with a small poem written by Robert Frost. Now this is a famous poem. Most people actually study this in school, uh, some in college. Um, it's it's a best way to really understand how a poem works at what different levels, a literal level there is a meaning, and then under that there is the figurative meaning and a lot of um, figures figures of speech involved in here. So um, let me read this. Okay, are we all here or settled down? Okay. Yeah. So uh, we'll read this. Uh, so the poem is called Road, The Road Not Taken. The Road Not Taken. It's not the road taken. It's the, the choice is road not taken. Um, usually when Asian writers, especially Tibetan writers, we all talk about um, what happened. We don't speak, speak about what had not happened. You know, the alternate. So he says, Two roads diverge in a yellow wood. Here wood is not just the Xing wood. Here wood is a forest. It's, it's a large number of trees together. It's a wood. It's American way of saying. Two roads diverged into a yellow wood and sorry I could not travel both and be one traveler. Long I stood and looked down one as far as I could to where it bend to the undergrowth. So there is a um, kind of a bush somewhere where the road goes into. Then took the other as just as fair and having perhaps the better claim because it was grassy and wanted where. Here where is not the kumba where. Here is where and tear. Zoba, Hejutangba, Seba. Because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though as for that the passing there had won them really about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. So here this black is not color black. It's just, um, you know, steps, footsteps we see in the leaves. So it says, uh, in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept the first for another day. Yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back. I shall be telling this with a sigh, somewhere ages and ages hence. Two roads diverge in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. So basically, it's a very, very small story. The narrative the story is one man is standing, saw two roads in a, in a wood, and there was one, it looked trodden. It looked as if people have been using that. And he saw another road, which was grassy, a people not gone that by gone that road so many people would not take this people would take a road which has been traveled because it means people have gone so there's no danger 
right? Many people have gone, many people have come back. But you don't want to go in, in a road which is grassy, not trodden, um, and not sure where it's going to go. So he's saying, I had taken, I left the first one, I had taken the second one. I had taken the second which had not been used, which is grassy, which is unsure, risky, dangerous. And it says to the end, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. Now, it's a very, very simple story of a man making a decision. And this happens in life all the time, right? Before coming to Varanasi, what else did you want to do, right? Even when, when, you, when you're here, every day we, we make a decision. We usually go on the uh, path, um, the choice, the option which is easier, less risky, no, no danger involved in it. Um, and uh, we usually do something that, is, that we are habituated with. So he's saying, I have taken the other decision. And he says, that has made, and that has made all the difference. This is again, again, it makes a, now when we go back to the poem again, it talks about a larger decision a, a person made in life. It's also, tr it, it can be, assumed that he did not actually see two roads. He saw two choices in life. So allegory, allegory in English, allegory. Um, it may be a story of a travel, it may be a story of animals, but it makes statements about real life. So one level he may be talking about that. Now look at the, we'll look at some of the figures of speech that goes into making poem rhythmic, uh, good to sound. For example, in the, in the first two stanza, two roads diverge in the wood. It ends with wood. And the second line, and sorry I could not travel both. And third line, and be, and be one traveler. Long I stood, stood, wood, they sound similar. It's called the rhyme, R-H-Y-M-E, rhyme. So in English um, poetry, rhyming scheme has always been one of the embellishments, one of the de decorations, making poetry beautiful, sound good, um, that way. And both and could, both also goes down to uh, undergrowth, th, un both th, undergrowth, th, you know, again there is a, um, uh, rhyme there. So the rhyme would be A, rhyme would be because there is one sound here, this would be A, and this sound goes here, so it would be A, and this is B, and both goes to with undergrowth, it will be like that. So this is how usually people mark uh, rhyme schemes B. Now this is C, but this has no partner. So A, B, A, C, B. Like that if you uh, actually again uh, in the fair, claim, where, where and fair, okay, uh, claim and same and there, there again, it may be we we can actually call this could, would, we make this A. So it's A, B, A, A, B. And fair would be A, claim would be B, where, again A, there, again A, S uh, same and claim. So B, B. So this is how a rhyme scheme is usually looked at. So these actually make interesting sounds. Now, another thing about English language is not just the end rhymes, where the rhymes are there at the end of the sentence, is how do we actually look at a word? And in English language, most of the words are divided between different syllables. For example, uh, two is one syllable. Road, one syllable. Diverged, die, 
one syllable, verged a second syllable. So two roads diverged in a yellow wood. Now, how the English language uh, sounds work with. And that's why English language pronunciations are difficult because we pronounce it so very different. For example, present. Now this word, present, present is both noun um, as well as verb. When I say, you know, uh, the class is going to present um, um, a film, okay? So, uh, or when you say, I got a present from my, from my brother, that is noun. I got a present. Present. So, the word na uh, in the noun form is broken into two different syllables. Present. Present. Now, when we say present as in as in verb, then it's not present, it's present. Present, present. Here it becomes verb. So the uh, stress is on the other syllable, second syllable. Like this, for example, now I'm going to read the first um, stanza using the Accented and unaccented, stressed and unstressed. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry I could not travel both, and be one traveler long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could to where it bend in the undergrowth. So look at this. The distance is created by the, dis the distance is created by, see, the distance in the road is created by and looked down as far as I could, see, as far as I could. Just by sound effect, this, the, the poet has actually created in the sound the distance, as far as I could to where it bend in the undergrowth. See, the, the poet has used here, in the undergrowth. So there is an in, which is a preposition, the, an article, undergrowth. He didn't say, he did not say bush. You know, bush is short uh, sound. Undergrowth. There are two syllables, but under is long, and growth has growth. One syllable, and yet, it is the, the, the poet is uh, po be able to create that kind of a sound which creates that kind of a, uh, uh, an effect there. So this is how um, English, like English language poetry works. Now this kind of poetry, poetry um, uh, these days uh, people don't usually uh, stress so much on figures of speech in this way where there are a lot of rhyme schemes, metrical systems followed. Now these days people uh, you know, break rules. They break rules, they do not follow the rhyme schemes, they do not uh, follow ma many of things. But then this is the, this is the uh, most sophisticated way of writing poetry because you have, firstly, you have the grammar, you have your language, and then you're using super fast uh, ways of writing where you're using images. Now, there are a few techniques uh, that I'm going to introduce now, and uh, afterwards we will sit and actually write a poem together, all of us. We're going to work together. Now, some of the, some of the uh, what we usually call figures of speech, <coughs> figures of speech, for example, rhyme, what I said uh, is one. Now, one of the most important things that, that is used in English language poetry is uh, something called metaphor. Now, metaphor is, again, in, in 
Tibetan writing, very often we use, uh, we use a, what we call pege, uh, give an example of something, and we say, um, uh, for example, nyesem gi karma, nyesem gi karma, talang sharsung. If, if, if you are saying something like that. So you, you are talking about your mind, but you are making example of that with, with a star, with a star, but with the, with, with, with the kind of a feel of, of it. Um, so in the English language, metaphor is the main, main thing with which you actually write poetry. Um, there is another, another uh, similar thing, what we usually call simile. So metaphor is what we are saying that it is. We are saying my teacher is um, uh, the star of my life. So we are saying my teacher is the star of my life. Is saying my teacher is my. Uh, so on the other way, when we say when we use a simile, we will be using my teacher is like a star in my life. So he, the, in, in, the, in the other one, we are doing an example. My teacher is, is like a star in my life. While here, my teacher is the star. So these are the two differences, metaphor and simile. Similar, simile is uh, there are some of the words also used, not just like, it can be um, as my mother is as cool as a fridge, for example. In, you're making an example, uh, as cool. So when we, when we compare two things, then we are using a simile. But when we are saying it is confirmation, then we are using a metaphor. One of the things that, that are there in English language, which um, we usually do not find in Asian writings, uh, is, is, it, is the, what we call the narrative technique. Now, the narrative technique is so very sophisticated in, in English language. Um, narrative actually means the way you tell the story. For example, if I'm going to uh, give um, an apology, I'm going to ask for an apology why I could not come yesterday. Uh, some would say, yes, uh, the reason why I could not come yesterday is because I was not well. Now, that's a narrative. For example, you are giving the reason later and you are making the statement first. Now, supposing you were saying, um, instead of saying, <coughs> I could not uh, come yesterday, if supposing you are not making the statement and you are directly saying, yesterday I fell and almost broke my leg, uh, I, I had to go to the hospital, therefore I could not come. So you are giving the reason first, a compelling reason first, and then you are making the statement, I could, therefore I could not come later. So you are saying that, Later, so that's that is a narrative technique. The way you tell the story is the narrative technique. Now, in uh, no, we all watch Hollywood films, Bollywood films. Now, these days, uh, stories start from the end. Um, most of the films we we see that the the hero or the heroine is at the point of like bursting or dying or has met with an accident. We, s we watch the film with the hero meeting with a devastating accident and we, so we are immediately gripped with the attention. What is going to happen? The hero is dying right in the beginning of the film. So then the film goes back into um, flashback and, and tells how the life of the hero really started from one small village and he grew up. So these ways of telling uh, stories, flashbacks, now these days people don't even worry about explaining. They just give out so many, ins uh, you know, 
uh, stories in between and we are having to choose. That's a narrative technique. So uh, narrative technique in, 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 in English language, again, is, is so very sophisticated and uh, people have different ways of saying things. Now, some of the things that we can actually use, start to use is um, uh, if, we, if we start to make different arrangements with the, uh, in, in making a phrase, um, we can actually start from there. So usually we would have a sentence like, I sat down on the cold chair, chair, quiet, quietly. Supposing, supposing, if, if this is a sentence, then I is the subject, sat is sat down is the verb on a preposition the an article cold chair is the object on which the action is done and quietly is the adverb how the action happened now this is how how usually an english sentence is structured now we are going to uh, when when we do creative writing we usually mix up a lot of things so we're going to see supposing if i if i'm saying so here a uh, cold chair cold is adjective chair is noun now if we have table table is noun and if we add to that chair, then what happens? Now we have two nouns. This is what most creative writers actually do. They make odd combinations. So I have table chair. What does it mean? A chair which works like a table. Supposing if I start to sit on, on here, so this is my table bench it's a table but I'm using it like a bench so it's a table bench for me this is what most people usually do not think so what the creative writers actually do is they make such kind of odd combinations and then it brings a kind of a um, uh, little smile on our face the moment we say a table chair but if you actually think in that terms then we can make all different combinations. So this is noun plus noun. Supposing if we have, for example, now that we have added an adverb towards the end, if we use an adverb, an adverb in place of, in place of an adjective, Then what happens? Sorry, there is a spelling mistake here. Okay. Adverb, uh, slowly, for example. Slowly, then we add to it uh, running car so running is noun because of my verb verb in a continuous tense but I'm going to use slowly and running together a slowly running car so I'm describing car but I'm using um, an adverb and a verb together and making slowly running car into a phrasal noun Now, this kind of combinations is how people usually make in uh, making interesting uh, concepts. Okay, now from, from just shout out from, from all of you who wants to make a suggestion. Uh, give, me, give me a noun. 
think out of the class. Do not give me chair, table, fan, whatever. Out of the class, noun. Any kind of noun. Come on, shout. Tree. 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 Okay. Okay, let's, let's, let's use tree. Uh, give me a verb. Verb, verb. Cut. Odd combination. Dance and what? Shake. Uh, okay, let's take shake. Shake. Uh, tree shake. Now uh, give me an adverb. Adverb that describes what? Verb, right? So give me an adverb. Qu quickly, quickly, okay. Now, how do we do? quickly tree comes here? So, at the moment we are working only about a phrase, not a sentence. Okay. So, quickly shake tree. Quickly shaking tree. So, it's almost kind of a jadu, kind of a tree, like it quickly shakes. Like that, uh -huh. quickly shaking tree. So we have we have made this. Now let us make a really odd combination. Okay, Tr quickly shake and tree usually go together, and quickly also. But let us think of something else. Again, give me a noun. Out of the classroom. Stone, stone. stone. Okay, let's let's look at stone. Um, give me uh, an adjective. Adjective. Sweet. Okay, let's let's take sweet. So we have sweet and stone. Okay, now give me uh, an adverb. 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 Loudly. Uh, an adverb. Adverb. Sorry. Did you say beautifully? Beautifully, okay. Yeah, give me, give me something else. Come on. Sweet, we have sweet and stone. Give me uh, an adverb, an odd combination of an adverb. Loudly. loudly. Okay, let's take, let's take loudly. So, do you want to say loudly sweet stone? Right. I so now, now I can see the smiles on your face. Now, imagine, think of a loudly sweet stone. Uh, when, when I was doing this creative writing workshop in TCV, somebody said, flat grandmother. <laughs> so I was wondering, what is flat grandma, grandmother? A flat grandmother is some, a grandmother who does not think, who has no problem, who is so quietly in her own life, she doesn't complain, she has no joint pains, she doesn't go anywhere, she quietly sits her at her place. That's a flat grandmother. <laughs> right? Usually the grandmothers are like, they have a lot of things to complain and they have a lot of stories. They want you to sit here and listen to my stories. Right? That's a, you know, kind of a really odd um, complaining grandmother. But in, in TCV Upper Dharamsala, when we did the workshop, they said flat grandmother. So I really loved that, you know, that phrase. This is how we actually uh, enliven, you know, give infuse life into our language because we are able to think so very differently. So now we have loudly sweet stone. So what would be loudly sweet stone? What would be loudly sweet stone? Loudly, loudly sweet stone is actually tasuma. Do you know? Tasuma. Shekara. That's a loudly sweet stone. It's, it is a stone. Yeah. Okay, now let us try to write a poem. Okay, now let us try to, this is only, we have, what we have done now is only a phrase. Or oh, do you want to try another, another phrase? But a longer one, this time we will have an adjective, adverb, uh, uh, wor uh, uh, verb and a noun. Okay, so let us think of an out of classroom, out of Varanasi, out of Varanasi noun. Okay, so give me a noun. Snow. Okay, snow. 
I love this. Okay, let us do snow. Um, adjective. Adjective. Hot. Uh, adverb. 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 Huh? Lovely. Huh? Rapidly. Rapidly. Fanta fantastic is adjective. I want an adverb. Lightly. Okay, let's let's take lightly. Lightly. Now, I want a verb. It can be any any form of the verb. What's the verb? Uh, somewhere from the back. Come on. Yes. Don't don't sleep. Yeah. They love the word dancing. Some other verb. Come on. Crush. What did you say? Falling. 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 Crying. What? Changing. Cracking. Crack. Did you say cracking? C R A C K I N G? Okay, okay. Okay. Lightly cracking. So how, how do you want it? Cracking lightly hot snow? <laughs> yeah, it, it's actually a wonderful image. You know what image is? The moment you say it, if you can picture it in your mind, it's called image. It's one of the figures of the speeches. It's called imagery. Okay? Imagery. Imagery. Imagery is one of the figures of speech. It's one of the tools in doing creative writing, where you are constantly creating image in the mind. And here, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Here, it's not, a, not just imagery. There is a sound involved. Cracking lightly hot snow. So there is hot snow, which is cracking, but very lightly. OK? So it can also be lightly cracking hot snow or cracking lightly hot snow. So what we have done up to now is just a phrase. Now let us make a poem, okay, together. Can we have two sections? Okay, uh, from Kushila to the right is group A. From this girl to the left is all group B, okay? So this group and uh, back there, uh, the whole of you, do you want to join B or A? All of you in the back. Okay, group C, okay, let's, let's do, let's do group C. So group C and group B, watch. First, let, let's do group A. We're going to do a very small poem. Okay, others watch, see how they're doing it. Okay, give me a noun. Noun. Moon. Okay, moon. Uh, adjective. Adjective. Silver. Uh, a verb? Verb? Really? It's so predictable, right? Shine, moon, light, da, da, la, 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 la. Give me something else, come on. Verb. Shivering? Okay, shiver. Shiver, shiver, shivers. Uh, give me a subject, someone who's going to do the action. A subject, I, mother, my mother, grandfather, Patashi Thundu, Professor Samdurum Buche, something, whatever. N uh, um, a subject, someone who's going to do the action, someone, action. It can be a Tashi or Lang, okay, Langdrama also, <laughs> right. Okay, do, do you want Langdrama? Shall, shall, shall I write lang Langdar? Okay, okay, Langdar, Langdar.
Okay, now we have Langdar, Silver, Moon, Shiva. Uh, okay, now there is a poem involved here. Okay, Langdar. Shivas like a silver moon. See, there is a poem there. Langdar shivers, shivers, sorry, shivers like a silver moon. Silver moon. Now, um, okay, it's complete, and yet, um, if you can add something to it, uh, Where, where, where did it happen? Uh, a place, uh, an object, an object, somewhere it happened. Where did it happen? <laughs> Langdar shivers like a silver moon. Somewhere it happened. Where? Where did it happen? Where? Where? <laughs> in, the, in the middle of the night, that's, that's one. Like like in the middle of the night, that's a good example. Uh, something else? If there's no other, we'll st stick to this. But if you have a better one, sorry, in a bright what? In a bright moment, moment. Okay. Anything else you want? In the history of Tibet, in the history textbooks. In the history of Tibet, Langdar shivers like a silver moon in, in my in my textbook. Langdar shivers like a silver moon in my textbook. Does it make sense? Are you happy with this? Do you want to settle one here? Do you want to make a change? What? What? Tell me. <laughs> Sorry? Don't, don't worry about politically correctness. Don't worry about that. Worry only about the language. Okay? Don't worry. You, your group will not be accused of saying anything about Langdar. It's just a poem. Don't worry. So um, do, do you want to maintain it as it is? Langdar shivers like a silver moon in my textbook. Are you okay? Are you okay with this? Okay. So this is your poem. Done. Now we'll go, we'll go to group, group number B. Again, I'm not writing it. I'm only making, um, not collecting suggestions. This is your poem. So this is how actually we can start writing poetry. It's very easy, right? We just bring few things, put them together. It's like uh, an omelette. Anybody can make an omelette, right? Um, whether you eat it or not, it's up to you. But one can actually make an omelet. Just break the egg, put it there, and you know, do something, and something comes out. So writing poetry is easy. It's not difficult. OK, uh, what is your noun? Flower. Flower. Antarctic. Antarctic. Did you say puri? Yeah, puri? OK, puri. You mean the Jagannath Puri or eating Puri? Okay, Puri. Uh, what? <laughs> Anything else? What? Twilight. Twilight. Toilet. Okay, should I, should I choose toilet? No. Come on, come on. Yeah. Star. Star. Antarctic. What? What did you say? Heart. Heart. Wonderful is an adjective. Waterfall. Waterfall. Do you want waterfall? Okay, let's do waterfall. Waterfall. Your verb. 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 Waterfall. What happens to it? Falls, cry, cry. 
Yeah, yeah. Now, no, think, think differently. Okay, don't associate with mother crying, food, you know that kind of thing. Class bench table, no, no, no. Make an odd combination, and then you know. Okay, so you have waterfall. What, what happens? Shout, cry, scream, suicide, shine, roll. Roll. What, what do you say? What? Croning. Huh? <laughs> sliding. Sliding. Okay, sliding. Mending. Mending. M E N D I N G. Mending. Okay, mending. Hmm? Cry, cry. So do you want to say cry? Yes. Cry? Yes. This class? Come on. Yes. Or do you have a better one? No. Slope. Slope? Slope? Or cry? cry? Okay. Cry, raise your hand. Cry. If you want to cry, raise your hand. Cry. We have four. Okay. Uh, what else is your slope? No. Uh, men mending? Men men mending? No? You have you have uh, cry. Okay, so we have cry. Give me an uh, adjective. 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 Preciously. What? Sweetly. Sweetly? No, adjective, adjective. Furiously, okay. Furiously, furiously. Waterfall cry furiously. Um, a subject, subject. Someone who's doing the action. Subject. Shiva. 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 Uh, now uh, we need an object somewhere it happens a place where it happens space where it happens or a time hell hell, hell? No. mount kalash mount kalash okay so kailash kailash okay now we have waterfall cry furious shiva ash so how do we do? Uh, shall we say waterfall? Shall we do furious, furiously crying waterfall? Okay, come on, come on, make your stage. This is your, your poem. How do you want to? How do you want it? <laughs> furiously crying waterfall or furiously crying Shiva? Uh, yeah, yeah, w w how do you want it? Furiously crying waterfall or furiously Shiva? Or you can also say furious Shiva. You can also say furious Shiva. Crying, furious Shiva, crying, crying. Okay, you you can do it like this. Crying, Kailash, at the waterfall. So here, what happens is. Shiva is furious and he is crying, Kailash! Where? At the waterfall. <laughs> furious Shiva crying, Kailash! At the waterfall. Or do you want, do you want furiously crying waterfall? Do you want waterfall to be furious? Huh. How do you want it? No, we can mix and match, you can whatever we want. 
we can make Kailash cry, we can make uh, Shiva cry, we can make Waterfall cry. We can make Kailash cry. Kail Kailash cries furiously Shiva at Waterfall. Huh? What? Shiva cries? Like a waterfall. Okay. So, Shiva cries like a waterfall. Shiva. So, fu what? Furious? Shiva furiously cries Shiva like a waterfall at the Kalash. Like this? Furiously cries Shiva like a waterfall at the Kalash. Yeah? Hello, group? Yes. This is your poem. Are you okay? Almost. Not yet. Yeah? How, how else do you want it? Furiously cries. Are you okay? At Kailash, or you want to bring it up, uh, up in the beginning? At, at the Kailash, huh? Shiva furiously cries. Okay, that's reverse. That's okay. I'm trying to see if we can make, uh, you know, by meaning any different. Furiously Shiva cries, or furiously cries Shiva. Yeah? Okay, now let's go to group C. Group C, your noun. Yeah, group, your noun. Fish. Okay, you guys are kind of ready, right? Okay, what's your verb? <laughs> That's a dance group. Okay. Yeah, what's your verb? Fly? Fly. Fly. What's your adjective? Crazy or crazy? Crazily is an adverb. Uh, I want an adjective. Sorry? Big? Is that not too predictable? Okay, what is your uh, adjective? Because uh, adverb. Adverb. Crazily. Crazily. Your uh, subject, the one who is going to do the action. Subject. It's their turn. Yeah. Subject, your subject, your the action person. Huh? Romeo. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. G give me something else. It's a boring name. Give me something else. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> give give me something interesting. These are like really boring characters. For for the for the for the poem, yes. Fish fly big crazily. Huh? Ramu Kaka? Okay, Ramu. Let's take Ramu. Okay, um, so how, how do you want to arrange this? Fish fly big crazily, Ramu. Yeah? Okay. Yo, wh what's your structure? How do you want it?
crazy li ramu flies Okay, crazily Ramu flies a big fish. Now, here what happens? What happens? What is happening is flies a big fish. Usually we fly not a fish, a kite, an aeroplane, something that we fly. Now, flies a big fish. How does someone fly a big fish? It can be, um, it can be um, a kite in the form of a fish. Uh, it can be poetic by saying, um, mm, because fish is also fish can also mean um, something one one can trap with a kind of a uh, bait, a kind of a bait. Uh, you know, I uh, I caught a big fish. It doesn't mean I've actually caught a fish. It means I've caught someone who has a lot of money. Okay, I caught a big fish. Or so crazily, Ramu flies a big fish. So. Poetically, it works well. It means Ramu is showing something with which he's making a lot of promises. Crazily, Ramu flies a big fish. So that's your one-line poem. Okay, so uh, now we have about half an hour um, to discuss some of the general uh, questions you have about writing English. Some of you may be writing, for example, um, you know, all of you do Facebook, uh, WhatsApp, WeChat, whatever you're writing in English. If there are grammatical problems, uh, writing, um, um, any kind of problems you may be facing in writing, um, on, and, and also generally with the kind of problems you may be facing about other writings, poetry, some of you may be reading poetry or writing or even reading, reading, listening, any kind of problems you have, we can discuss that now. Yeah, the mic is here. Any kind of um, questions about writing, uh, we can discuss now. Uh, the Victorian <laughs> Tang Okay, so we'll do this. Uh, so uh, usually the difference is when, when someone writes on your own, we find it difficult to kind of relate to others because we think that my writing is, we're kind of judgmental of our own writing. So we think like my writing is not good, my writing is not of any standard. We usually uh, kind of more critical about our own, our own writing. Um, and was, I think particularly because being Tibetan, we you know, they kind of think. It makes us think that my writing is shitty, you know, it doesn't mean anything. Um, and also this uh, glorification of the Western writing, you know, we always think that Western writing is great, big, rich, and whatever. Um, 
all writings are different and all writings have their own history, their own richness of vocabulary, uh, its own history. So um, one good way to start uh, writing is to be a little kind to, your own, to, to yourself. If you're a little kind to yourself, then uh, you can support yourself. The moment you write and you think, so this is so bad, you will not even write. Right? You still think you, you've written one or two words and you're kind of leaving it out. Um, so one way of kind of dealing with that is to be a little kind to yourself and respect any kind of writing, whether it's your writing, your friend's writing, uh, doesn't necessarily mean Victorian Elizabethan writings of, of the British uh, literature is of any greatness. All literatures, they have their own uh, qualities, their own richness, and also history. Um, this is to start with. Another, another thing is to read. And uh, I think among the Tibetan community, a lot of people don't read. I think the reading habit is so very poor in the Tibetan community. We don't see readers. And if you do not read, you're not exposed to different kinds of writings. So we need to read. We need to read much more. Reading habit is the only gateway to learning. Reading. Read, 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 read. Um, even in universities, when I usually go to bomb Bang Bangalore, Delhi, Chandigarh, I meet Tibetan students. I generally ask them, it's not about poetry or literature or anything. Do you read? You know, I, I see when I ask people to raise their hands, I see only 20, 25% of hands going up among Tibetan youngsters who are in college. Very few readers. If you don't read, there's no learning. That's it. No reading, no learning. So reading is the best way to go forward. You know, with, with reading, you are exposing yourself. It's just like watching film. When you watch film, it's so very, you know, pleasurable. You know, you're exciting. And the moment, one moment you are like, ah, another moment you're crying, you're, you're, you're excited. Uh, it happens in reading. When, when, you, when someone is reading quietly at the corner, we can actually hear the reader giggling, the reader is, you know, gripped in excitement. Uh, so reading habit is, is a way to go forward, really. Uh, the <laughs> あの、やさちょこにょこんじどれら、あの、韓国で、まだと、あの、みかちちら、みうどたんじてけごいだんがぽいみや。あの、てんげらたんがでんげじゃぺらどたしら、ぺらどにまやれんだよ。うん、たた
And how did these images, this sound, uh, these rhythms, they, they come about? Um, so this is this is a long process of um, thinking about the the life of tourism in Dharamshala. So I've written a poem. I'm sure most of you have seen Dharamshala. Uh, how many of you have gone to Dharamshala? Have you seen? How many of you have been to Dharamshala? Most hands, except for one or two. Anyway, fine. So in Dharamshala, there is this thing called lemon honey ginger tea. <laughs> Do you know? Most people have it, but this is not traditional Tibetan. Most Tibetans don't have lemon honey ginger tea, right? But this has become habit in Dharamshala. It is the most sold teas in all of Dharamshala. So I'm writing a poem about lemon honey ginger tea. So in the poem, I'm saying the sour sugar, huh? the sour the sour sugar hot ginger get to a <clears throat> get to a tourist ah one more here sorry uh, lemon and ginger tea the sour sugar drink burns with a slight anger of ginger i getting it it says the sour sugar drink burns with the slight anger of ginger okay so it's it's the ginger which is slightly angry and it burns where where the sugar uh, where the sugar drink is slightly sour so the line says the sour sugar drink burns with the slight anger of ginger Limja, <laughs> the bridge to become the tourist. Read Murakami at the terrace cafe. Get mistaken for the waiter. Or get asked, do you speak English? Three wedge momos for a tenner. Do you know what tenner is? Tenner is ten rupees. Yeah. Three wedge momos for a tenner. Try broccoli, mo broccoli momo. So this is a uh, slow process of poem that I'm writing. So um, to answer your question directly, usually the mind of the poet is all the time thinking, how do I say it in a different way? So the writer is every time, every moment thinking, how do I say it in a different way? Because otherwise, we all speak the same language. Casually, we tell stories in Tibetan, in English, in different other languages. Difference between poem and the casual talk is the language of the poetry. So how do I say it in a different way? What are the choices of my words? One, choices of words. Two, what are the things I'm going to choose out of one incident. For example, I'm talking about lemon honey ginger tea. Here I'm talking about the ginger and the tea. I'm not talking about the glass. I'm not talking about the table. I'm not talking about the waiters around. I'm not talking about the loud music. I'm not talking about it. I've not chosen that in my writing. So the writer is a manager. The writer is a manager. There are hundreds of things to write about. The writer makes the choice. What are the things I'm going to choose and put in my writing? It's like a writer is like a cook. You have all the ingredients in the kitchen, but you're going to choose only a few and put them in and make a good cuisine. That's what the writer does. The writer is a cook. The writer is a manager. The writer decides. So the constant process happens here. Again, it's not just sitting and writing. It's a constant building up to the complete narrative. So it's a constant process. It's not just one sitting and writing. Many people say, when I'm angry, I'm going to write a poem. When I'm sad and lonely, I'm going to write a poem. Not necessarily. You may be angry. All of us undergo different kind of emotions. The difference between a common ordinary man who doesn't write po poem and the poet is the poet is able to 
poet is thinking and is able to put in a much more articulate, effective manner to the anger or the hatred or the loneliness or the sad or the moment of joy. It's the poet who is constantly thinking, how do I say it in a different way? So constantly the poet is working with language in the head. That makes the difference. Okay, any other question? ผมว่าดีเลยเกี่ยงซึ่งดูแลทรัสต์ดีเชื่อได้นี่ท่านได้ที่ซุ่มบ่บุกหาเสียเลยได้ที่ขั้นเลยพอเอ็มเลยที่
and that kind of differences are going to be uh, there with those who, for example, those who came from Tibet, your, your, your history, your emotions are going to be different. Um, those who are born in India, our emotions, our history, uh, they are different. So only, only that difference. Uh, with Indian English, uh, especially those, the, so, so in, in, even in Indian English writers, the differences are that of the, that kind of generation. The generation of Dom Morris is different. They are hugely influenced by um, English writers, classical English writers. So for example, when, when I used to sit with Dom Morris, um, he would hugely speak about these classical English writers. So he's so very strict with the metrical system, um, the rhymes and rhythms. He, put, he would put a lot of uh, efforts uh, in that. While um, Arun Kolatkar, um, although studied in the West, uh, he comes from, from a very different kind of background. He is a Marathi uh, poet. He could write both in Marathi as well as in English. And his writings are so very vivid and visual. W one can actually see his kind of writings. Um, as you read. Um, and then um, there are other new uh, writers, Ranjit Hoskote, Jerry Pinto. Uh, these writers wouldn't really go back so much on the punctuations like, like uh, Nesim Ezekiel. So the, I see the differences are more between those two gen generations and the background they come from, uh, rather than a difference between the Tibetans and the, and the, and the Indian writers. Now, one of the general differences that we see is how we have been influenced, how a writer is influenced by the milieu or the, or the, or the situation where the person is. Um, the Tibetan writers, we are hugely influenced by the overall politics of Tibet, uh, how it had happened, whether it's in exile or those in Tibet. We have been hugely influenced by it, by it. and this is continu it continuously decides our future also. So we are usually influenced by it. So therefore, much of our content are going to be uh, Tibet-centric. While Indians, for them, the issue of independence is over. Now, for them, they have to decide how we are going to develop the country. What are the different uh, options for India I for its development? So the questions are more about that kind of um, resolution social or justice. For us, it's more about the struggle or the freedom that we all aspire for. Um, and yet, you know, uh, someone like uh, Thirinwamo Dhomba, she wouldn't overtly write about the struggle. She would generally talk about uh, some of the images she, she had seen here and there. Um, so these are the differences. Now, about the emotions, um, as I was saying earlier, Different people. Uh, there is a very famous um, American woman writer called Sylvia Plath. She would write when she is almost committing suicide. She had written a number of poems about suicide. Her attempt in committing suicide, she had written poems like that. So there are different poets who would write sometimes in the height of emotion and some who would write when, when they had climbed down from that height of emotion. In the absence of the emotion, they are able to concentrate and think better, and they are able to write poem in that calm. So again, um, there's no one way of writing po poetry. It's not just emotion. It's just how you want to show that emotion in your writing. Any other question? Good afternoon, sir. Um, My heart was itching. So, so heavy while you're talking in English. So um, I couldn't help my heart. <laughs> uh, um, I would like to ask you that uh, uh, that uh, people have said that to write a po to write a poem or a poem, one have to uh, get the attention of the others first uh, on the first line or some paragraph, and the end. Uh, uh, they need to be uh, have some imprints on them, on the readers, uh, heavy kind of feeling. Uh, so I would like to ask that, uh, what kind of 
kind of mm -hmm. uh, words uh, like we should uh, put to at attract the reader how to end the word like uh, you know it's some word I don't know how to uh, put the words so that's it. thank you um, so kind of response to that I'm going to read a, a poem I've written um, it's called when it rains in Dharamshala um, I don't know how many of you have seen this um, this was a poem written in Dharamshala about the rains that happened in Dharamshala um, and also you know in Dharamshala the rain is not easy in Dharamshala it rains for three months continuously and it rains so much there that these um, cheap Chinese umbrellas do not work. They, they, ju they just get torn. So you need these strong, sturdy Indian umbrellas <laughs> with almost a kind of a pole in the middle. So, um, and that's, that's the power of Dharamshala's rain. Um, and what I'm saying in the poem is about the rented room I have taken in Dharamshala where I stay with for other people. So this poem is about that, about, about the rain in Dharamshala. So I'll read this and then uh, try to answer your question. Um, so it, it says, when it rains in Dharamshala, raindrops wear boxing gloves. Hmm? When it rains in Dharamshala, raindrops wear boxing gloves. Thousands of them come crashing down and beat my room. Under its tin roof, my room cries from inside and wets my bed, my papers. Sometimes the clever rain comes from, comes from behind my room. The treacherous walls lift their heels and allow a small flood into my room. I sit on my, I, I sit on my island nation bed and watch my country in flood. Notes on freedom, memoirs of my prison days, letters from college friends, crumbs of bread and Maggi noodles, rice sprightly to the surface, like a sudden recovery of a forgotten memory. Three months of torture, monsoon in the needle-leaved pines, Himalaya rinsed clean, glistens in the evening sun. Until the rain calms down and stops beating my room, I need to console my tin roof who has been on duty from the British Raj. This room has sheltered many homeless people. Now captured by mongooses and mice, lizards and spiders, and partly rendered by me. A rendered room for home is a humbling existence. My Kashmiri landlady, my Kashmiri landlady at 80 cannot return home. We often compete for beauty, Kashmir or Tibet. Every evening I return to my rented room. But I'm not going to die this way. There has got to be some way out of here. I cannot, I cannot cry like my room. I have cried enough in prisons and in small moments of despair. There has got to be some way out of here. I cannot cry. My room is wet enough. So <laughs> this was written in 2006 when there was a major flood in my room. It actually happened. So this is the, uh, you know, how do you deal with emotion? Yeah, how do you deal with emotion? A friend of mine up from Bombay has come to meet me, meet me, and he was staying with me for six months. I had gone to McLeod Ganj. My room is in Lower Dharamshala. And uh, my friend called me and said, Sundu, come down fast. There is a lot of water. So I said, of course there will be water. This is rainy season, of course. <laughs> so I said, 
you know, just be there. I was telling my Indian friend, just be there. I'll come down in the evening. So I was doing a lot of work. I finished my work, came down in the evening. And you know what the scene? I stepped in my room. <laughs> and my mattress, which was on the floor, was flooded. I, can't, I cannot see my mattress. I could see a pool of water all around, on the floor. And you know where, where my friend was? He was sitting on the bed, cross-legged. And wh he was saying, Kya karega, puro gila ho gaya. <laughs> He just couldn't do anything because if it had been a small, uh, you know, water coming from some hole or it'd been a dripping, he could have put a bucket or something. But it was so much water coming from underneath the floor. And the whole floor was full. There was a puddle. So therefore I was saying, I sit on my island nation bed. Who was sitting on the bed? My Indian friend, not me. But in my poem, I'm saying, I sit on my island nation bed. And I'm now imagining notes on freedom, memoirs of my prison days, letters from college friends, crumbs of bread and Maggi noodles, rice sprightly to the surface. See, this is my imagination. And I'm saying, I sit in my Olin Nation bed and watch my country in flood. See, I'm saying, this is my country. Why cannot? See, this is where it happens. The transition between real life and your poetry. Am I wrong in saying what I've written? No, it, it actually happened. It happened in, in front of my eyes. It happened in my room. And my bed, my papers were actually in water. So it is such a big emotion, right? Your room is flooded. What do you do? But I, I, was, I was not moved uh, so much with this. I was actually laughing at my Indian friend. I was saying, <laughs> I was laughing at him. And he's saying, Kong <laughs> so you know, he, he just doesn't know which one to pick because everything is under uh, in water. So this is how, you know, what, this is what the writer actually decides. Which piece of your life are you choosing uh, in your writing? How? And there's always a comic of, uh, you know, element of comic in it all the time. It's a, such a sad thing, right? For our refugees, room is flooded. It's such a uh, sad thing, but I'm constantly bringing in the comic element of life in it. So uh, the choice of words. So firstly, you choose what are the spices. If, you are, if the poet is a cook, what are the spices you're going to add in, in your writing? And for that, what are going to be the words? So if words come later. First, you choose what are the things you're going to write about. What are the things you're going to add to it? And what is the perspective? How do you want to look at it? I'm looking at it from a comic perspective. I'm making it a whole funny and, you know, um, odd, and I'm making people laugh at it. Although it's such a sad thing. Hmm? So this is how you deal with emotion, and this is how you make your vocabulary cho uh, choices in this, yeah? OK, we have a question back. Uh, my English is not mm, that much, not that much good as you have. Anyway, I'm trying to speak in. Uh, I'm trying to question it in yeah, please, English please language. Him. It's good. Yeah, if someone is attempting. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Yeah. Actually, I don't like to keep question or uh, remain with me. Anyhow, uh, yes. I'm. It's better to ask my question. So my question got like this. Uh, I got this question when I. Uh, when you are uh, describing the figure of your speech like uh, imagery, right? Yes. So I feel a little bit doubt when you are describing the figure of your speech. Uh, it is, uh, as per my perspective, it's like, uh, you know, it's the same as the personification. Hmm. So uh, could you please share your points oh. about the uh, difference between the personified and imagery? Okay, 
So th these two things, personification and imagery. Now, personification is when you are giving quality of, of a person, a living person, on an inanimate object. For example, I'm saying standing table. This is a table. This is an inanimate object. It is not life. But I'm giving it, I'm giving it a quality of a thinking, living human being to it. So I'm saying thinking table, standing table, the thinking, sitting, for example, if I'm saying the sitting, thinking table, sitting, thinking table. I have two uh, verbs in continuous tenses in describing the table. I'm saying sitting, thinking table, the flat sitting, thinking table, the flat green thinking sitting th table. When I give quality of a living being on an inanimate subject, that's personification. I'm personifying an inanimate object. Yeah? You got it? Now, in imagery what happens is, I'm saying something and immediately I'm making someone see an image in the head. When I say water, you can all think of water. When I, when I say uh, soft water, you're wondering what is soft water, right? Uh, when I say uh, freezing cold, we can all feel it. So these are images. The moment you say it, but, but if I say think, there's no image. You are, it's an abstract idea. Think is an abstract idea. Idea is, an, is, an, is ab abstract again. So when I say things with which I'm making you to imagine uh, vis visually, you can visually imagine something, that's where I have an imagery. Yeah? When I say, I sit on my island nation bed, you can actually imagine someone sitting on a bed. So that's an imagery. Yeah? So where I ha I'm giving you a visual images. Okay? So these are two differences. Um, are you okay with this? Yeah? Um, how are we doing with time? Over? Fine. We have come to an end. Okay, I have a little business to it towards the end um, with all of you. This is a book of poems called Kora. Uh, some of my writings, essays, poems are there. I'm carrying some more copies with me. Um, uh, and this is what I've been selling uh, for the past almost about 10, 12 years. Um, I sell it for 50 rupees. Um, again, it, it's a business because I'm printing it, I'm selling it. But it's also a way of really reading. I don't know how many of you actually read Tibetan writings in English, how many, but this is an opportunity to read something. How, how do we say ourselves in English? This may be an opportunity. So I have few copies here. If you're interested, I'm selling for 50 rupees. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Hello. Um. Today's speaker speak in English, so I'm trying to speak in English here. Um, here, uh, I try to, you know, tell you a brief, the something that um, he spoke on the literature or poetry. You know, there is a really fantastic uh, statement by William William Shakespeare, you know, to be or to not be, that is the question. But here, that is not a question. What is poetry? That is the question, you know. You know th what is poetry? Please keep this question in your mind. And really, uh, personally, sh you, you know, actually, I think that there is no definition of the poetry. For example, you know, Hummer is a really great poet in the um, history of uh, Western literature or poetry. You know, he said that poetry is the gift of the God. Do you think so? I don't think so. But for him, that is right because he, you know, he had no eyes, but he write that epic poetry. That is one thing. And, 
you know, William Wordsworth says that poetry is uh, spontaneous overflows of powerful feeling. Do you think so? Maybe, but you know, in the modern times, the modern writer, modern poetry, they against this definition because they do not satisfy this definition. So many modern writers, especially magists and symbolists, they against this definition, they do not satisfy this definition. So here, what I want to say is that, you know, the speaker says, you know, what is poetry and how, how to write and how to, you know, uh, create the image, what you think and how to depict what you want to say in a poem. He, you know, he speak in a really active way. That is really fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, for example, in, uh, in English, there's many uh, figures of, uh, I mean, the figure of speech, like uh, simile and metaphor, image, symbols, and person, you know, personification, all these things. Actually, all these things, of course, have in Tibetan as well, but we don't know, you know. It is really important to know how to write in Tibetan as well, because some, you know, some people think that, you know, in Tibetan, of course, these things are not in Tibetan poetry. Some say it's like that. No, not like that, you know. Um, Symbolist, modernist, you know, romanticism. This is how Maribsarva Chizong